and of course, see all the funders here in the audience. So I think we have a perfect, perfect partnership now to actually get Andhra Pradesh and more so India going. As you are all aware, under the leadership of Mr. Naidu, Andhra Pradesh was one of the fastest growing states in India and we now need to make up for lost time. We are aligned with the Honorable Prime Minister's vision of Vikasit Bharat. We are coming up with our vision for our state. In 2047, we want to be among the top three economies uh, in India and that will be and that will be powered by good infrastructure. You know, it's very important to have a very collaborative outlook among all the players here. Post the bifurcation of the state, we have become a smaller state, a residual state. But I believe it gave us great opportunities to look at decentralized development. You know, we've always said we'll have one capital, but we will decentralize development. So I'll give you a few examples of what we've come to achieve in five years and what we want to achieve. Anantapur, which is in the southern tip of Andhra Pradesh, is one of the, India's most backward districts and we are making it the mobility hub of Andhra Pradesh and we have Kia already operational there. Karnul, which is again a Ralsima district, we are making it again a center for renewable energy. And Mr. Naidu in RE Invest has made it very clear that 72 billion, 72 gigawatts, 72 gigawatts of renewable energy assets will be created in five years in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And we are looking at it with pump uh, hydro storage projects, the windmills and of course solar coming in in a big way. Coming to Chittur and Kadapa district, we are looking at both the districts predominantly from electronics manufacturing, the world's largest uh, TV panel manufacturer TCL is already there, few of the other players are now coming in and you'll see that entire region going into hyperdrive in terms of electronics man manufacturing. Prakasam district is one district that we are very much focused on biofuels. Now you start, you're hearing whispers all over about biofuels, but we want to be ahead of the curve. We're already talking to a lot of the players in this industry and we had a series of meetings about it and you will see that district predominantly focus on biofuels as a thrust area going forward. Of course, Krishna Guntur districts is the capital region. It will have their own growth story. As far as the east-west Godavaris, uh, which is as already highlighted by uh, my speakers before me, they are actually number one in India in terms of aqua production. So massive investments need to be done there to make aqua sustainable. So getting the drainage system on, on top of things, the surface transportation, the roads, infrastructure, which has been ignored for the last five years. How do we create a, a sustainable model there? And that's been our focus. And in the East West Godavari districts, you will see a lot of focus now coming into uh, green energy. So, it's a lot of chemistry. So, I'm not, I didn't do that well in my school days in chemistry, but, you know, green ammonia and various other products are going to be actually generated there. The entire petrochemical corridor is going to come in that region. And coming to North Andhra, where we are actually seated, this is going to be the hub for uh, IT as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned. We will make this not the destination in India, but in the world for data centers and AI. And with that vision, we are working. That about, there are some serious work that's being done in terms of a pharma hub. I shouldn't make announcements ahead, so we're going to come out with it in a very bold way. We're going to create a pharma hub here. It already is a pharma city, but we want one up that, create one of the world's largest hub here. Defense is another great opportunity that we see here. And under the leadership of Rajagaro, you know, Bogapur Airport will transform this entire region. So I saw the video and, you know, it was really goosebumps in that sense. A lot of passion has gone in from GMR group in terms of designing it. And of course, they are working extremely hard to sort of get the first plane to land and take off from here. So really excited on that. And if you look at, as part of this development plan, we already have four operational ports. We're getting three new ports coming into uh, Andhra Pradesh. We are working on airport connectivity where all the districts should have minor airports to feed into the larger hubs. And in the erstwhile, between 14 and 19 under Mr. Naidu's regime, we've done a lot of work in getting greenfield airports. 
Bharat did escalate a point uh, about cargo in Shakhapatnam. Uh, Bharat, I actually, one of the leaders from here only messaged me and I spoke to the Honorable Cabinet Minister of Civil Aviation and said it's his responsibility to get it started. He said, give me 15 days, it will be done. So, uh, we are going to get that also back up and running. See, infrastructure is not just about roads, airports. I mean, it's the way we connect with each other. You know, a road makes a lot of difference in terms of connecting one community to the other community. All of you here have the power of figuring out how cities should grow, how cities should interact, how can we create equitable distribution of wealth. As all of you know, Mr. Naidu is never governed by pressure groups. He is always governed by the interests of the people. And one example of this is the Hyderabad airport. Under the leadership, of course, of GM Argaru. Though they won their tender, and this is very interesting, I don't know how many of you know this, this Hyderabad airport was the first airport of GMR group, and they won the tender in a very competitive bid process, but Mr. Naidu refused to award it to GM Argaru. And the reason he said that, he, you don't have the experience. I'm genuinely worried because I look at Hyderabad airport, to, you know, like how Dubai airport has transformed Dubai. Hyderabad airport has to transform Hyderabad. So after winning the bid, GMR Garu had to work doubly hard to win the hearts of Mr. Naidu. And look at Hyderabad airport today. I mean, they are set for the next 60, 70 years. They don't need to look at the next acre of land. And that's the kind of vision with which, you know, your government is working here in the state of Andhra Pradesh. You know, we see in other states where already major cities are talking about second airport, third airport. And those airports were built about the time of Hyderabad airport and one city built it after Hyderabad airport, a modernized it, if I can say. But now they are talking about second airport. So we end up spending a lot more money and it, connectivity is leading to nowhere. So I would urge all of you to look at it from this perspective where how do we bring people together, how do we take a city forward, how do we take the nation forward. I always keep saying, you know, as a country we end up building infrastructure for yesterday. yesterday. Like I truly believe that, you know, Bogapuram, I mean, Vishakhapatnam needed an airport good 10 years back. We are actually late. And as Bharat said, we are working on the connectivity. That was my question to Bharat. From the airport to the hotel, in the hotel, almost 15 minutes, I was talking purely about connectivity. Because I know GMR will deliver on the airport. We have to connect it. And we are really committed to that. And it's important for all of us who are seated here to think about what is the infrastructure that India needs tomorrow and build it today. Because as all of you know, the cost of projects are going to double every 4-5 years. There is a debate about Vishakhapatnam Metro and I clearly stated that we have to build it today and not 5 years from now because the cost is only going to double. It's as simple as that. So it's very important that as a nation and all the thought leaders here lead this discussion and definitely work on building infrastructure for tomorrow and not for today or yesterday. Saying that Vishakhapatnam is going to be our economic capital. We are working on a project to create a trillion dollar economy in one greater Vishakhapatnam region. As a state, as a government, as our leader is very committed to Vishakhapatnam and its growth plan. You will see a lot of money coming into the infrastructure here. I, I empathize with the entire freight corridor that we need to build. Because I did a Padayatra, I walked through Vishakhapatnam and I still remember this was the only city where my collar got black at the end of the day and I remember saying to Bharat about this very closely. So we need a dedicated freight corridor and that's something that we are committed to and working on here in Vishakhapatnam. The Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor is already up and running, a lot of work was done in the previous third term of Mr. Naidu as Chief Minister. We, entered, we intend to finish it, attract investments to the nodes and create an economic transfer, transformation here in Vishakhapatnam. You know, ease of doing business is of the past. What Mr. Naidu is now talking about is speed of doing business, cost of doing business. So I'll give an example of this. Yesterday I was meeting a, a company, because I can't name them yet, about an investment in Andhra Pradesh, we're talking about the incentives. You know, I had the power to challenge them saying that, Andhra will be our lowest cost of energy 
in two years. That's because we have a fantastic policy uh, in terms of renewable energy and the pump storage policy. And we can give the lowest cost of energy here. We see that as a strategic advantage for a state to attract investments going forward. Like this, we want to come up with unique propositions that will make our state competitive and will enable all the entrepreneurs here not only to survive but thrive. That's the first part. The second part is the speed of doing business. This is something that Mr. Naidu has coined. And that's why the real-time governance minister. So, I mean, I have three portfolios. First is human resource development. Second is IT electronics. Third is real-time governance. So, real-time governance is what where we tie through all departments and start, of, start creating avenues to ensure that the speed of doing business and the ease at which you can do it should be truly delivered in spirit and not on paper. So I'm already talking to all the platforms, the WhatsApps of the world, Telegrams and so on and so forth, where we want to streamline the way govern, government interacts even with entrepreneurs, government interacts with business fraternity, government interacts with citizen. So we're going to transform the way and we believe it will be first of its kind uh, in the nation and we're going to launch it in the next 100 days. As far as IT electronics, this is Vishakhapatnam is going to be our IT hub. We intend to make this the data center capital of the world. And AI is like the refinery. So AI will follow and we're going to back it with green energy. So you can see how we're marrying everything together and transform Vishakhapatnam. Uh, saying that new policies are on its way, the IT policy, the GCC policy, uh, the data center policies are, are being crafted and we intend to launch them soon. Parallelly, we are we have revived the Economic Development Board. Economic Development Board will be the single port to call for any investor, any financier here uh, into the state of Andhra Pradesh. It's being led by a very young IA software, but the entire team under him are IITians, IM grads and other uh, other youngsters who come out of Ivy League schools driving the entire initiative. So they will be your single point of contact. So you'll have, you don't need to call, you know, me or even DC Janata Nidigar or Bharat. They will be your single port to, port to call. And you'll be amazed that Economic Development Board is going to be under the Chief Minister in the General Administration Department because the work there is going to cut across multiple departments. So while I'm going and chasing data center investments, they need green power and they want to do parallel investments in that. So I need to change the energy minister. So it's not going to be like that. The economic development will be the single port to call because all the businesses are cutting across uh, ministers and ministries. So we are reviving that and it will be, and we intend to deliver on the speed of doing business promise. And as Bharat said, um, a lot of work is going to be done in Vishakhapatnam. We are really committed to this amazing city. It's unfortunate in the last five years we slipped a position in terms of economic activity. We were the ninth largest economic city and we slipped one position, we came to tenth. One thing that Bharat didn't tell all of you because he knows I'll hold him accountable to it is our vision to transform Vizag to the fifth largest economic city in India. So, so Rajivar has a lot of catching up to do clearly. So in terms of traffic also, you know, we have to aim not to be number 10, but number 5. And I think a lot of work needs to be done. As you rightly said, uh, you know, with Air India now being privatized and of course being under the leadership of the Tata Group, and I think close to 250 flights have been ordered. Uh, under the leadership of Chandra sir, there's a lot of excitement uh, into Gogapuram and what work they want to do. In fact, I think it was two days ago that we had a Zoom call where we discussed about, you know, Bogapuram, MRO, and of course my intention was about your, um, the cricket stadium here, the marina here, so we had a very long uh, discussion on the way forward. And, uh, you know, we don't look at Bogapuram purely as an airport, as Bharata said, MRO, and look at the region's largest MRO. And beyond MRO, we were discussing about why all the uh, equipment required in an airport cannot be manufactured in Bogapuram. So that's the kind of vision with which we want to work with the GMR group and really um, transform and create jobs as a region. Now, 
all of you know it's been just over 100 days since the new government here formed in Andhra Pradesh. And our first promise out of the six promises we made to the public is to create 20 lakh jobs. So the single agenda with which your government is going to work is on creating jobs. So who creates more number of jobs will get a, a greater red carpet possible. It's not just about the rupee value of investment. For us, we really want to attract you know, job creating companies. So I would request all of you to look at Andhra Pradesh from that perspective. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming all the way to Vishakhapatnam, being part of this summit. I know there's some exciting topics coming ahead and I did take a look at it. That clean energy is one big topic and that's something that's going to be very close to our heart. And we're going to work in terms of delivering that. So thank you very much for coming here. Thank you for having me. And I look forward to having all of you and being part of the journey of Vikasit Andhra Pradesh. Thank you very much and Jai Hind. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for your time, for your...